Good morning, I'm Chris Gianetti, Jackson Public Schools Assistant Superintendent of Communications, and today I am here with another alumni grad and parent, Megan Bashir. Welcome. Hi, thank you. So Megan, you graduated in 97, correct? Correct. Did you love JPS when you were here? Yeah, I did. Yeah. I had a good experience. You went to Jackson High, correct? Yes. Yep. I went to Bennett for kindergarten through second grade. I went to Hunt from third through sixth grade, Parkside, and then Jackson High. Wow. So now you have three kids, right? Yes. And so they're all in the district? Yes. My oldest graduated in 2019. My second child, my son, is in the cognitive impairment program currently and will be graduating this year. And my youngest is a freshman. So you've been busy. Yes. And now what do you do for a living? I am a paraprofessional at Hunt in a kindergarten classroom. Do you love it there? Yes, I really do. I would think that age group is really fun to work with. They really are. They bring a lot of challenges, yet, I mean, it's a lot of fun. Were you always in education? My degree is from Spring Arbor University in teaching, but I took time off to raise my kids, and I just got back into the education field in December. Good for you. So tell me about the um, journey that you've had here at JPS with your kids. Did they all start in kindergarten? What, what sort of happened? My daughter started out at Sharp Park Academy. She did kindergarten through fifth grade there. My son did kindergarten through second grade at Dibble. And then my youngest did kindergarten at Dibble. And then we took a brief little break away from JPS and went to private school in the Canton and Ann Arbor area. And then we brought them back and we went to another charter school in town for my oldest. And it wasn't a great experience. And so we decided, okay, we're bringing her back. So my oldest came back to Jackson High in the middle of 10th grade. I brought my youngest back at middle of second grade. And then we didn't, we kept my son at a school for children that were on the spectrum mm -hmm. and then in Ann Arbor. And then we brought him back in seventh grade and put him in the cognitive impairment program with Joanne Withy at Parkside. And that was the best decision we'd ever made for him. And they were in JPS from that point on. So tell me, what made you um, come back? The distance. I was, we were driving long distances every day, gas prices were getting high. And to be, I live right down the hill from Sharp Park Academy and made it an easy choice. Parkside is right, basically right down the road from me as well. So it made it very easy transportation wise. Plus I was familiar with the staff at these schools. So I knew they were in good hands. So when you came back, are you glad you came back? Yes, I'm very glad I brought the kids back because they've had very good experiences since they came back. Tell me about some of the experiences um, at, for the younger um, age group when they were at Sharp Park that you enjoyed. I liked the aspect of them getting to learn a different language. My youngest really made some good friends. She had very good teachers over there. To this day, we drive by and she looks at her classroom window. I want to go back. I want to go back. <laughs> we just ran into one of her teachers the other day, and he was glad to hear about the growth that she's had because she was a very shy little girl over there, and she's not sh that shy little girl anymore. So. And now at the high school level, so what things did you take advantage of for all of your children that you are most excited about with JPS? My oldest was more the studious academic one. So she was involved in like NHS and that type of thing. She became very close with the teachers here. She's still close with some of the teachers here. She was more into that type of thing. My youngest is more into, she's in the choir program with Mr. Y and that has really been a good thing for her. It's really brought her out of her shell and given her the confidence that she needs. Isn't it amazing how we can have multiple children and they can have all different, you know, mm -hmm. interests and, and, and that kind of thing and they came from the same place, right? Yes. You know, it's so strange. So tell me a little bit about your son. So in the, the CI, the Cognitive mm -hmm. Impairment Program, what are things that make you comfortable about where he is and wh what his opportunities are beyond uh, high school? They are very open and it's like a family. I mean, we have Janelle Hasselbeck, Kevin Maiko, and Aaron Wright. And I've never felt, they. I mean, 
Secunder will refer to me, he'll say to me all the time, Mom, you're my real mom, but she's my school mom. He loves coming to school. There was a time and place where he hated coming to school. Now you say, oh, you can't go to school, like if he's sicker, he gets mad. He wants to come to school. They've done a jo good job with, for example, the work experience program. They have where they would go down into the cafeteria and like clean up, giving them that job skills. And that program is the precursor, is, from what I understand, into getting him into the transition to work program, which he's at mm -hmm. the Career Center in right now. When he graduates, he'll be transferring over to the Kit Young Center and getting more job training and independent living skills. But they've done a very great job at getting him ready for the future. I think it's really important to point that out too that you know there are a lot of different experiences that each student has at school and JPS encompasses a lot of opportunities um, no matter where you are in in your learning education journey that there's a lot of opportunities for parents as a parent of a cognitive impairment student what advice would you give other parents as far as you know they're new coming to the school or they're in the middle and they don't know where to turn what what kinds of advice would you give them don't get discouraged Everything's going to be great. This is a wonderful program. I've never had any concerns. If I have any concerns, I go right to them, and they'll answer any questions. They are like a family to me now. And I just was talking to them at the big CI Jackson High Kate Young basketball game the other day. And I'm like, you guys are part of our family for life. I mean, just because he graduates this year, you will be with us forever now. That has to be really comforting. So tell me about your, your oldest daughter. She graduated in 2019. Correct. What is she doing now? She is, a, she is finishing her s second semester of her junior year at Cornell University. Wow. When was she studying? Industrial labor relations with the intention of going to law school. Wow. So a, an amazing JPS grad. Yes. Now tell me about that freshman. What, what is she up to? She is just studying hard and enjoying choir. They just went to festival and got all ones and yeah, I saw that. were very proud of themselves for that. And I mean, just enjoying her school life and being with friends. And Now will she do any of the dual enrollment or early college that's offered we're at Jackson Public? thinking about it. We haven't made any decisions at this point, mm -hmm. but we're thinking about it. Yeah. I mean, it's a tough decision. The, the early college is certainly mm -hmm. a great opportunity for kids to gain college credit and help pay a little bit for yeah. college. Um, I know the AP and dual enrollment classes are, are interesting, She's currently too. in the a AP U.S. History class right now, and she <laughs> loves Beth Laurie Smith, so. She's amazing. She signed she up to take one of her classes next year because she doesn't want to leave her yet. She really <laughs> enjoys her as a teacher, so. So let's talk a little bit about Hunt. So you're a para-pro there. Mm -hmm. um, Year-round schedule, correct, or balance correct. calendar, balance right? Calendar, so what yes. does that mean, the balance calendar? We start in August, and we have more breaks throughout the year. So, so we, like six weeks on, two weeks off, sort of? Kind of, yeah. We just had a break in February for a week. Mm -hmm. We came back. And then we've had all the miscellaneous like, days off and half days, and now we're on a two-week spring break. And then our school year doesn't end until June 24th. And do you see differences in that schedule versus what your kids are doing as far as learning and teacher? I mean, we can, I like it, honestly. I think I like the balanced calendar better than the regular calendar because it doesn't give the kids time to get into trouble and that it keeps them focused, it keeps them learning. So I'm really enjoying being in a school that has the balanced calendar per se than a, just a general calendar. As a parent and alumni for Jackson Public, do you have any special advice for all parents getting ready to make the school decision about why to pick JPS? Don't listen to the rumors. Try it out yourself. Everybody's experience is different. My oldest had her own experience. My youngest is having her ex own experience. My son is having his own. I had my own. I graduated early in January, so I missed out on a lot of stuff my senior year, which I regret to this day. <laughs> but everybody's going to have their own experience. Just because one student had a bad experience here doesn't mean that another student is going to have that same experience. Understood. Well, thank you very much. We're very excited that all your children are here and certainly proud to be your co-workers. <laughs> so thanks and go Vikings. Go Vikings.